Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got. I gotta go do the video. Okay. Thanks. Yep. Yep. Hi. Right. Okay. I love you too, mom. Okay. Yep. All right. Bye. Um. You guys ever wonder how you can plug your phone in without having to plug it in? How it can charge without a cord? That's kind of weird. They make these little things, wireless chargers for your phone. How do they work? With a charger like this, if I take my phone and I place it on there, we find the blue light goes on and it begins to charge. And we can see the little lightning bolt and it's starting to charge right now. But we find if I go in and I move it, we get that, that red is illuminating to say it's not charging. And I do this. So, but there's still no cords attached to get it to charge. So how does this work? To understand this idea, we need to talk about magnetism. If I have a bunch of paper clips here and a strong magnet, I can pick them up quite easily. I can do the same thing, not with a strong magnet like this, but rather with electricity. I can do this with a battery, a wire, and a nail like this. If I take the wire and I wrap it around the nail, so it turns into this, and I make contact with either side of that battery, like this and this, we can go ahead and pick up those paper clips. Here I have a whole bunch of coils of wire, and here I have an ammeter, which measures current. I'm gonna use that same strong magnet that we used earlier, and if I take this and I place it inside that coil, we find that needle moves. If I move it the other way, it moves the other way. But notice, if I leave it in the middle, nothing happens. If I change the magnetic, what we can call field, we're generating current, and it's going back and forth, back and forth. Here I have a large electromagnet, which is connected to an alternating current source. So the current's going back and forth, back and forth, just like the magnet that we saw going back and forth out of the, co the coil. Here I have a coil of wire that I have attached to a light bulb here. To either term as a light bulb. Notice it's not plugged in anything. Now I've got a changing magnetic field here without this being plugged in anything. Let's see what happens. Notice it only works in a specific spot, just like the cell phone. So how does that apply to the phone? Well, there's a coil of wire on the back side of the phone and a coil of wire in the charger. This creates a magnetic field which opposes the magnetic field in the back of the phone, which means we get current moving, then stored through different electrical components, then stored through the battery. That's how we can do it without having it plugged in. Wait. Hold on. Yep. Hi, Mom. Yep, I'm on my way.